Hi, my name is Alex Burke, and this is my production pitch for Cowboy Mouth. Um, Cowboy Mouth was written by Sam Shepard, and the show opened in New York April 29th, 1971, with Sam Shepard playing Slim and Patti Smith as Cavale. Um, I describe this play as two trapped animals looking for an escape through the use of rock and roll. Uh, Sam Shepard even describes the characters as animals, Cavell being like a crow, raggedy, dressed in black, and Slim, a cat who looks like a coyote, scruffy red. They are both beat to shit. Now, as for what the show or my scene is about, um, Cavell, a woman growing up not the prettiest, um, finding solace in rock and roll, she wants to be a rock and roll star. She discovers Slim um, and finds that Slim is musically inclined. Cavale kidnaps Slim at gunpoint and takes him to this hotel that is absolutely disgusting. There's trash everywhere, drugs, magazines, clothing, musical instruments. Um, everything is thrown about in this trash pile that they live in and they don't leave for days at a time. And they just write music and argue and do drugs. So. That's what the show is about. Um, now, I think the show is extremely tense. Like, uh, there's constant arguments um, because it is so confined. Uh, I think that uh, it is very climactic. Each character is a wild card, but for the sake of my scene, there is one building intense argument that happens at the very end where each character reveals something about themselves. There's a, a heavy revelations and emotional accusations made at the very end of my scene. I will say that the language is almost melodic with some of the slang like jive and quote Mr. Yesterday and baby, but then there are some things that lead us to believe that there's a southern affectation uh, to these characters and maybe that Cavale isn't the smartest or ever finished school and that Slim may be a little bit smarter than her because he even corrects her by saying that the word is offense, not offense. So there's that whole moment. Uh, as for my ground plan, gotta find it here. Excuse me. This is my ground plan. I know it's kind of small, but if this is where the audience is, this would be my door for exit that nobody makes. Uh, the bed, a nightstand, a couple of cubbies and baskets and things, a few shelves and a table with a couple chairs, and maybe the fridge back here as well. I know it's not drawn on there, but you know. And then there would be trash just strewn about. Just, it's been heavily lived in without a care in the world. So that would be my ground plan. Now on to the images used to inspire me are definitely 80s rock and roll legends like Mick Jagger that are so heavily referenced um, and other performers like Bob Dylan and uh, pictures of them backstage really living their lives like not a performer on stage, not a musician, how they celebrate, who were they outside of the show, things like that. Um, as for the show and what it was about, it's definitely about him and his life. Um, this is supposedly one of his most revealing plays. Uh, whenever it first opened, his co-star Patti Smith, uh, they were having an affair, Sam Shepard and Patti Smith. Uh, Sam Shepard was married and it was so hard for her because she was up in New York while they were working on the show um, and she finally did take their child and leave. So Sam had to perform this with Patti Smith and basically was living out his part of the story on stage. Um, so he basically told it as if he were the victim. Um, and so finally it got to the point where he just felt like the, the show was too closely related to him, but they were definitely both victims of chasing dreams and chasing fantasies that maybe weren't attainable and putting things before certain responsibilities. Uh, but Sam Shepard only played the role one time and then he bailed on Patti Smith and Cowboy Mouth. He left and did not tell anybody and he found his wife, the one that he was cheating on, and they ran away to Europe together. So, crazy. 
Uh, but this isn't Sam Shepard's only show that he writes about his life or veiled life about. Um, he also wrote Fool for Love, Angel City, Melodrama Play, Suicide and B-Flat, and Seduced, a bunch of other shows as well. So, sorry, I was like looking at my notes this whole time. But I didn't want to miss anything because I really care about this show. Uh, it speaks to me on a level because I really identify with Cavale and finding solace in something other than religion or family. Just finding your own path. So, really enjoy the show. Really happy to share it with everyone. Thank you.